Thank you for logging in. This is the fourth construction video. Uh, today we'll be looking at two things. Uh, the first is I'm going to show you how to create an angle of 30 and 60 degrees. And by creating an angle of 60 degrees, we can also create an equilateral triangle. So the first thing I'm going to do is just simply draw one arm of an angle. Okay, so that's my base there. And using my compass, I'm going to actually extend the aperture such that it actually measures this distance here. So put in the needle at one end of the line. Okay, and what I have there is I have that distance secured on my compass. What I'm going to do now is by putting the needle at one end of the line, I simply draw an arc. Once I've done that, I repeat the process at the other line, other end. And again I stress, do not rub out these construction lines. And then very simply, I just join these two lines where those two arcs cross and I now have created a vertex with the baseline. And just to check what this angle is, using my protractor you can see that that angle is 0, 40, 50 and that is actually a 60 degree angle. So that's the first thing that we've done. We've actually constructed an angle that is 60 degrees. What I'm going to do now is to actually bisect this angle and create another angle of 30 degrees. And if you recall, we did that in one of our earlier video podcasts. So, taking our compass, putting the needle at the vertex, extending it, and just simply draw an arc. Do not alter that position of that arc. Putting the compass point at this point here, and drawing an arc and again not altering that position putting the compass point here and at this point the two arcs have actually crossed and then the last thing we do is simply the vertex to the point where the two arcs cross and if I measure that angle I should have a 30 degree measurement and you can see clearly 0, 10, 20, 30 and that angle here is actually 30 degrees that is this angle here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a equilateral triangle. Okay, so our starting point for an equilateral triangle is going to be our base. Okay, so I've got my base ready. I've already extended uh, my compass such that it measures the length of the baseline and then simply as we did previously when we created our 60 degree angle I draw my arc keeping that aperture placing the needle at the other end and simply 
crossing the arcs together. Now if you recall, what we did last time was that by drawing a line through the two arcs, we were able to draw a 60 degree angle. If I can draw a 60 degree angle that way, then surely we can draw a 60 degree angle that way. And that is the basis of our equilateral triangle. So I will complete that now through the two arcs. I've created here my first vertex. This is my second vertex. Carry the line past the two arcs. So I've got one vertex, two vertex, and now again through the arcs and we have our third side again I stress do not rub out the construction lines and I've got A, B and C and we'll just check that these angles are all 60 degrees. So we'll check angle A first and you can see again on the inside 0, 50, 60 degrees so angle A is definitely 60 degrees. We'll repeat that process for B and again you can see 0 40, 50, 60 degrees. Now some of you may have spotted that if these two base angles are 60 degrees we don't really need to measure that because as you know angles in the triangle add up to 180 so if I've got two 60s which is 120 this one has to be 60 degrees. But let's just check because we might have made a mistake. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this around so you can see. Okay, and I'll put the compass point here, so the protractor. Okay, and on the outside, 0, 40, 50 and 60. So you can see clearly there that that angle there is 60 degrees. So we have created a equilateral triangle 